Jesus! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! It's Ruth to the fifth We look at the cut-ups in the offseason, and every time he's in the game and touching the ball, something good's happening. And so we're saying, you know, why don't we play this guy more? And so coming into spring, we gave him more opportunity, and, and he made the most of it. If you're going to talk about a pleasant surprise, you might be the most pleasant surprise of the spring. Coaches are starting to take notice of Carl Williams. Reaching this point, though, has been a long, difficult road. He didn't play football until the ninth grade. It took one play for him to fall in love with the sport. Nobody wanted me to play running back. Nobody said I could play running back. My first touch ever in a game, I scored a 75-yard touchdown run. He wasn't even the starting running back as a senior at Layton High School until an injury gave him the opportunity to prove himself. He took advantage, rushing for 996 yards and 11 touchdowns. I knew I could, I could play with the best. I could play at any level of college, um, and I just wanted that opportunity. His senior year was impressive, but he received very few scholarship offers. He chose to play at Southern Utah. It was a good experience. I played as a true freshman down there, but it didn't fit me. I, we got a, I got a taste of San Diego State, and I saw the atmosphere there and the crowd and the stadium, and I said, I want this. I want to play with these at this level. I can play here. I can do this. And I called my mom and dad up and said, I, I want to I I tr transfer. I didn't necessarily know where I was going to go, but I just said I wanted to transfer. Carl gave up his full ride scholarship to walk on at the University of Utah. It's hard. It's probably one of the hardest things I've gone through in my life, but I feel like giving up that scholarship has made me a better person and a better man. He would soon take on even more responsibility. He married Kiana Fanua in 2012. They would soon welcome a son named Kale. Life was already a challenge for Carl, and now he needed to provide for a family. I had a few small part-time jobs, like working valet and working with little kids or working at law firms. Every day he left at 5.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, wouldn't come back till 7. He such a hard worker. He would even help with Kale because he's such a light sleeper. So he has done so much for our family. And For three years, Williams battled through long days and sleepless nights with the love and support of his family. He was having such a hard time, like, uh, feeling down on himself, and we'd always just tell him hard work will pay off. Hand off this time, Carl Williams. The truth to the 20, oh. to the 15, oh. punishes a corner. After two years on special teams, Williams earned reps at fullback in 2012. He scored his first touchdown against Arizona State, the same week his grandmother passed away. And cruising into the end zone, touchdown Utah, Carl Williams, the fullback. Coaches started to take notice of his hard work and dedication. We got a guy in this program who for the last several years has done nothing but bust his butt, do everything that's asked of him, get good grades, take care of business on and off the field, and never say a word, never ask for anything, just all he does is produce. Okay, that guy has now earned effectively a full ride scholarship Carl the Truth Williams. You know, I just I started crying because it's it's been such a tough road between those three years to get to get to this point. There's been times where I thought, you know, maybe they don't care like about the walk-ons, and there's some times where walk-ons feel that and they feel like they're not really a part of the team because the team gets to eat and you don't. So to see this team stand up and do these things and clap for me and afterwards everybody was giving me hugs and jumping on me and it's just, I know I have a family now and I know I'm a, a big part of this team and a big contributor of this team. Carl has a great story to tell, but for him it's just getting started. I want the ultimate goal. I want to make it to the NFL. I want it to provide for my family and I didn't feel like I could do it if I was in the shadows and didn't get the opportunity, but you know, now um, I've kind of opened up a door and I'm stepping through it with arms open.